Hey guys, it's Kiki Garcia. Thanks for following my page. Great day to be a girl. Super fun event is happening today to benefit 1082. Now, I know you watch Investigation Discovery like I do. Homicide Hunter, one of my favorite shows. I think I binge watch that all the time. I have like 50, copy, uh, 50 episodes on my DVR right now. And I am here with the man who plays Lieutenant Joe Kenda. It's Carl Marino. See, I'm nervous. I'm getting right. like nervous from this because like you're going to solve the crime if there's something going on. Well, at least I'm going to act it out <laughs> anyways, right? So a lot of people don't know that you were actually in the Sheriff's Department, correct? Right. Yeah, I, was, I was a Sheriff's Deputy for 17 years in upstate New York. So has that helped you? I mean, can you better understand what's going on or? Well, I know, I know all the terms, that's yeah. for sure. So I don't have to struggle with those. I know all the police procedures as far as that goes. And, we don't do anything too complicated, I'm sure, to begin right. with. But, uh, and also, all the police officers on the show are actually Knoxville police officers. Oh, wow, so, I didn't know that. So they, they bring their expertise as well. They bring their own cars. We actually have magnets to say Colorado Springs to go over really? Knoxville. Really? Yeah. That's so. awesome. So, okay, how much time did you spend with Joe to kind of get his mannerisms down and I his didn't things? Meet, or? I didn't meet Joe until season three. You're kidding. No, no. Oh, my so, gosh. Uh, I talked to him on the phone. We emailed back and forth, and I kind of got a... You know, an idea of the type of police officer he was because I worked for people kind of like him. Right. You know, you know, a little sarcastic, the dry humor and stuff. Right. And so, so I kind of understood who he probably was at the time and stuff just by talking to him and, and you know, right. be, being that in the position that he was in. So. so, how did you go go from a deputy sheriff to an actor? Uh, I went the traditional way. I, uh, I moved to San Jose, California and answered an ad on Craigslist. What? That's, that's exactly what happened. Really? Uh, I, I actually moved out to San Jose because I had family out there. And I literally did answer an ad on Craigslist for a, a TV show that we're filming in San Francisco. Uh, just kind of out of curiosity. Not because I wanted to get actors. I didn't. They just, right. they just wanted extra police officers. Oh, wow. And they were going to pay us like 80 bucks a day to be these extras on uh, <laughs> this new show called Trauma on NBC. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, crazy things happen. I ended up being a paramedic on the show. Which is very fortunate because it was a show about paramedics. Right. And <laughs> two episodes in, I got upgraded, got lines on the show, and it's a pretty big deal. And I started getting lines on every episode, and pretty soon had a character name and was part of the cast of the show. Well, that's awesome. So it was uh, never something I sought out. It was just a uh, kind of chance, right place, right time. That's awesome. Well, that's a great way. I mean, that's, that happens. Yeah. More people should be like that. But, okay, now... Homicide Hunter. I mean, it's like a cult classic. People love that show. They're obsessed. Like, it's amazing to us still. Right? I mean, we went from not thinking we were going to get a season two. Well, season one we filmed in, actually in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I remember talking to the director, and like, you know, we were all asking him, we think we're going to get a season two. We only did six episodes in right. season one. He's like, mm, yeah, I don't think so. I, th I think there's maybe only about nine cases that Joe had that we can make shows out of. Mm -hmm. well, here we are, 115 wow. shows later. Apparently he was a little short-sighted. Right, and I guess so. Part of the reason why maybe it's not our director anymore also. Oh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, that could be. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exploded. It's, it's That's awesome. absolutely amazing to all of us mm -hmm. how big the show's gotten and how many fans it has. Right, well, we love it. Um, so is there a website or something that you have that people can go to to find out more about you? Or a Facebook page? Uh, I, I have my Facebook pages. I'm uh, on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Great. Um, but... Uh, people want to follow that's, that's great I appreciate it and I, I post a lot about the show and stuff and a lot of pictures and everything so nice. a lot of behind the scenes stuff that people, right. people seem to like so. alright alright you had it I'll put the links below thanks guys don't forget to subscribe great day to be a girl